Okay, today I'm going to be looking at the steady state heat conduction equation and showing you how we work out the units of thermal conductivity. So let's look at the equation first. So it's all about, imagine we have a bar that has a length L and a cross-sectional area A. And on one end, the temperature is T hot, and on the other end, it's T cold. And this difference in temperature causes a transfer of heat energy. And we want to know what is the rate of transfer of heat energy. So Q divided by T, where Q is the heat energy measured in joules, and T is time measured in seconds. So the equation is this, it's Q divided by T equals K, which is the constant that we want to work out the units for, times A, the area, multiplied by T hot minus T cold, all over the length. Now if we look at this equation, what this is telling us is that as we increase the air cross-sectional area, the heat transfer increases. If we increase the difference between the two temperatures, the rate of heat transfer increases. And if we increase the length, the rate of heat transfer decreases. Now all of those terms, they're kind of to do with the physics of the problem, what we can figure out and just through like deduction and, and observations of what's going on. Now the constant K, this is what we include to kind of make the equation work in terms of units. And these are also, these are, this is a value we can do experiments and we can find what is K for a certain material. But we need to find out what are the units of this thing. So that's what we're going to do. That's our aim today. So I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. So my first step is going to be to replace all the values in this first equation with units. So let's do that. So Q over T, that's energy joules divided by time. Now, joules divided by seconds, that's a power which we measure in watts, W. So I'm going to put W equals K. A, area, is meters squared. Now the TH minus TC, all together, <clears throat> that's a difference in temperature. So we can write that down as one thing, just as Kelvin on its own. So I'm going to put K there. And then we've got a divided by length. So it's divided by M. I'm going to rewrite this slightly differently to make things a bit easier. So I'm going to have K M squared times Kelvin, big K, and then the M, instead of putting M on the bottom, because I know that 1 over X is X to the minus 1, I'm going to just do M to the minus 1. Now I can simplify this even more, because I've got M squared times M to the minus 1. I add the powers, so I end up with K M to the 1, because 2 minus 1 is the 1, times K here. And that's all equal to W here. Over here. So then I'll, I'll rewrite this because it's a bit clearer. So I've got W equals K M K. Now I'm interested in the little k, the thermal conductivity. So I need to move my M and K, big K, over. So I end up with K equals W over, I'm just dividing M K. And I'm going to do something similar to use this again and say it's W M minus 1 K minus 1. So what I found is the units of thermal conductivity K are watts per meter per Kelvin. I'm going to post this whole thing, a PDF of this on my blog, so if you want uh, kind of neater copy it'll be there and i'll aim to do a few more of these tutorials over the next coming weeks